Today I'm just doing a quick check in to show you all that I have completed my clip top for my trip around the world patchwork placemat. I cut two and a half inch 60 degree triangles to make this clip top. Yeah. So it's basically 13 triangles across and eight triangles going down. Yeah, this is it. So I watched um several YouTube videos for years to finally get up the courage to start working with 60 degree triangles. Today what I did was create a playlist of most of the tri videos that I watched before I actually got the nerve up to start working with 60 degree triangles. So I did make that playlist public. So if you want to check out those videos, you can. Um, yeah, this is it. So, and one thing that's perfectly true as far as working with triangles the first person I heard mentioning, really is the only person I heard mentioning, when you working with 60 degree triangles, and I got this information from Foxy and 55 Creation, this FIFI, -F -I, Foxy and 55 -F -I Creations. When you, the, the number of triangles going across must be an odd number. But I've also come to realize in order for it to be a balanced um, design, uh, the numbers going down must be an even. So if you look here, you will see that going across is 13 triangles. And of course, I cut them on the, you know, had to cut them, you know, how you have to cut them to make it to score it off okay so that's one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen then going down is one two three four five six seven eight but if i stop it right here it's not going to be balanced that's why you have to make sure it's an even number and i haven't heard anyone say it had to be an even number going down she's the only one i heard say that it has to be an odd number going across so that is true so that is some very very helpful information because you want whatever you create to have a balance to it okay a start and a finish proper okay so yeah this is my little patriotic theme and as i in a uh, previous video, I plan to have this done by Labor Day weekend. So hopefully, all I got to do is decide what fabric I want for the backing and I'll buy the batting and then I'll quilt it and then we'll see. And as I stated, I plan to do like for my quilt, it's going to be white thread for the white triangles, red thread for the red triangles, and blue thread for this the blue triangles. Um, as far as the binding, it'll probably be this print right here. I love this. This is my favorite one out of this um, design. So this will probably be what I use for the binding. And also, another piece of helpful information when working with six degree triangles in the one of the first people I heard mentioning this was Mr. Domestic, and then it's one more other person that I don't remember their name, I apologize. But even when you're working with 60 degree triangles, you have to still make sure that your cross grain is going across and your the grain that goes up and down is still going up and down. So if you'll see here, you'll see where I have marked the bottom. 
okay? So whenever you're sewing your triangles together, you should not be sewing across this bottom grain, which would be top and bottom, but I only got the bottom marked, until you're sewing your rows together. So when you sew your triangles together, you will, this one will go up. Since this is the top, this will go down, and then you will flip it to where, let's see, well, you all know what I'm saying. So this is how you would sew it together. And you can see where this is the cross grain and this is the cross grain. So you're going to sew it, flip it however you have to sew it to sew along this side and this side. Okay, so that's very helpful. That doesn't change. Your grains still have to be in the right place. Okay? So, yeah, just checking in with you. I said, let me get up and do a little YouTube video to show my subscribers and my viewers the progress that I made with this trip around the world. Patchwork um, placement. This is the quilt top. Very proud of myself. If you want to see the back, I can flip it over. You know? So, this side looks on the back. And this is how it looks on the front. I'm very proud of myself. I just this year started working with these six degree triangles. I have several videos that I've made on the projects that I've created this year. I finally got my nerves up after this make 19 years I've been quilting. I finally got my nerves up to start working with these six degree triangles. Another video the sewing report now when i saw her six degree tranquil i was like oh i really got to do it and you know uh it still took me a while before i start to to um uh, working with the six degree triangles but i plan to eventually make a six degree triangle um uh, quilt once i get you know ready to do it i have some other things that i'm working on so maybe next year i'll try to do my first um whole quilt you know using the 60 degree trains but i use these little pot holders and placemats and little small projects like that to get your get my nerves up to work on a big project so yeah i'm pretty proud of myself and i would like to thank all my subscribers uh and if you have not subscribed please subscribe to my channel. I really appreciate it. I'm trying to be on my channel. And I would like to not only say thank you to my subscriber, but also thank you to my viewers because the more subscribers and the more viewers that I get, it encourages me to continue to do these YouTube videos. So I really appreciate you all. All my subscribers, thank you. All my viewers, thank you. I've created some uh, videos. I have some shorts. So whenever you all get a chance, just check everything out. Hit the like button. Comment. If it's something that you want to learn how to do, if I know how to do it, I'll make a video on it. You can let me know in the comment section how you feel about this quilt top. Do you like it? Do you not like it? What would you have done differently? So that would be something that you all can put in the comment section and again i really appreciate you all because i'm very my subscribers are going up so i would like for people to continue to hit the subscribe button and i really appreciate you all thanks for watching my video check you later